So we're going to finish out the chapter count, verse count, and word count of every book in the Bible with the rest of the Pauline epistles as well as the general epistles and the book of Revelation. Okay, so we'll start with the book of 1 Thessalonians, which has five chapters, 89 verses, 1,837 words. Should take you seven minutes to read. 2 Thessalonians has three chapters, 47 verses, 1,000. And 22 words should take you four minutes. One, the first Timothy, book of first Timothy has six chapters, 113 verses, 2244 words. Should take you only around nine minutes to read. The book of second Timothy is four chapters, 83 verses, 1666 words. Should take you seven minutes to read. Titus, three chapters, 46 verses, 896 words words should take you only four minutes. Philemon, only a single chapter with 25 verses and 430 words. Only around two minutes is required to read that one. The book of Hebrews has 13 chapters, 303 verses, 6,913 words. And it should take you around 28 minutes to read. The book of James has five chapters, 108 verses, 2,304 words should take you nine minutes to read. The first epistle of Peter has five chapters, 105 verses, 2,476 words should take you around 10 minutes. The second epistle of Peter has three chapters, 61 verses, 1,553 words should take you six minutes to read. The first epistle of John has five chapters, 105 verses, 2,517 words should take you 10 minutes to read. The second epistle of John has one chapter, 13 verses, 298 words. Should only take you a minute or so to read. The third epistle of John has one chapter, 14 verses, 294 words. Only around a minute is required to read that one. The book of Jude has one chapter, 25 verses, 608 words. Only requires around two minutes of reading time. Finally, the book of Revelation. 22 chapters, 404 verses, 11,995 words, requires around 48 minutes to read. So remember guys, many of these books are quite short, taking less than 10 minutes to read. Of course, there are the longer ones that requires hours and hours of reading. But many of them you can read in your spare time, on your lunch break, in between work, in between your activities really the point is just to, for you to reserve time to read the bible and hopefully this will be helpful for you so you could plan it around your schedule and you could read the bible daily in some form or the other and gain a blessing through the word of god